Hello! Welcome back to my channel. I'm looking extra crusty today because it's literally two days before my flight and I haven't even packed yet. So yeah, as you can tell, I will be packing for Korea. It's been four years since I was last in Korea and since it's just going to be me and my friend, I don't plan on bringing a lot because we're going to be traveling to Jeju and Busan as well so I want to make sure I pack as light as possible. This time around, I actually bought some packing cubes. I was always under the impression that they take up extra luggage space and they make your luggage way more which is why I've never tried using them so we're going to be using them today. I saw on TikTok that it works really well so we'll see. Alright so these are the packing cubes that I bought from Amazon. And I got the set that came with like 10 or 8 different bags. I think this is the toiletry bag. It's actually pretty compact. There's a few packing cubes in here. I think there's a... And this is just like a Ziploc bag. I believe this is a shoe bag. And then dirty laundry bag and then we just have various sizes of different packing cubes and today I'm just going to be using this bigger one so that I can fit all of my clothes in here hopefully everything fits in here so I can just store it all away and buy new ones <laughs> First thing I have is my phone, obviously. I will be using this a lot to navigate around Korea and I also have my iPad for my flight because I am an iPad kid. Some AirPods are on the go. I prefer the regular ones over the pros because it just fits my ear better. A travel adapter is always a mess whenever you're traveling internationally. A portable battery. This one is the Anchor Power Core 20. As for cameras, I am bringing my trusty DJI Aswell Pocket, my vlogging camera, which is the KN G7X. And then I'm also only bringing one tripod. It's a handheld tripod that can turn into like a mini one. It's ergonomically designed for your hands, so it makes it super easy to just, you know, hold your vlogging camera without having to hold something super bulky. And then I have my new DJI mic. This is going to be a holy grail for me, especially for places like Jeju. It's going to be super windy, so I have decided to invest in a proper mic. And lastly, I have my Bose Quiet Comfort headphones for the flight. As for the miscellaneous things, I have my passport, some wet ones for the plane, some mask, my pillbox with all of my emergency medicines, my little portable reusable cup holder and my emergency pouch with all of my essentials i have some pads and some band-aids and my hair stick in there i also have my lens wipe and my holy grail eye drops i'm also going to be bringing this pollen bag to with me on the trip for everyday use and of course we can't forget about my wallet and cord pouch <laughs> For makeup, I'm keeping it super simple. I, I plan on buying a bunch of K-Beauty items, so I didn't want to bring too much. First thing I have is my 3CE cushion. This is my favorite cushion from 3CE. It's the dewy skin one. I just love using this. Um, it's super easy to use. And as setting powder, I am going to be using this Makeup Fix Powder. Also from DCE, it works so well with their cushion foundation, so really love this dual. And of course we have my trusty Laura Mercier highlighter. I've been using this for the longest time and I love it so much. My Kevin O'Coin contouring powder. My Dior Backstage Blushes. If you blend the both of them together, they create the most beautiful blush shade. You guys have to try it if you haven't tried already. And then this is actually new to my makeup collections, the She Glam. I don't know what's it called, like contouring like stick. And it's probably the coolest contouring tone I've 
seen that actually blends really well with my skin color so i'm bringing it in because your girl needs her contour we also have the 3ce liquid eyeshadows these are super handy and it's the most pigmented thing ever it's honestly the best and then i know this looks kind of weird but this is the 3ce eye twitch it creates this beautiful shimmery color on your eyes my 3CE concealer. For lips, I decided to just bring my two Dior lip glows and a glow oil. Um, just to switch it up a bit while I'm there. I have it in Miss Dior and pink. For eyeliner, I have my trusty Lanani black liner. This is the best eyeliner ever. If you're ever in Japan, you have to stock up on this. And then I have a few things for brows. The first is the Glossier Brow Flick, the Rum and Han All Flat Brow. And I always, always finish my brows with the Glossier Boy Brow. For mascara, I also use Glossier. It's, it's super easy to use, so I thought I'd bring it with me. And then lastly, my new Jillian highlighter. It works great as individual highlights, so I'm bringing this with me. And then I have a few makeup brushes and my trusty Picasso makeup spatula and last but not least my beauty blender for skincare and body care I am keeping it super super simple because as I said before I plan on buying a bunch of k-beauty items including skincare so for majority of my skincare I'm going to just be using all of my samples that i still have remaining and then the only real thing i'm actually going to be bringing is my sunscreen this is super important i've been loving this madagascar centella one and then for moisturizer i am bringing my hydro sealing cream this is the best and i have a travel size one so i'm bringing this with me and i know this is technically part of makeup but i'm also bringing my makeup setting spray by charlotte tilbury deodorant is a must for korea deodorant is actually really hard to find in korea so always bring your own deodorant whenever you're going to korea and then i'm also bringing a few of the away shampoo glycanser and leave-in conditioner simply because i got this for my birthday gift at sephora so I put it to good use and then the last thing I am going to actually do is putting some of my honey hair mist into my travel size bottle so that I have some hair mist on the go all right I'm gonna put all of my makeup and skincare into this little handy cosmetics bag it's actually pretty massive so I'm pretty sure I won't have any issues fitting everything in here Actually going to be keeping all of the smaller items in this Dior makeup bag just so I have a portable bag that I can bring around with me in case I need a separate makeup bag while I'm there don't plan on bringing a lot i am only going to bring some basics of the basics it's also going to be pretty warm so i don't think i need to bring any heavy jackets or anything like that i might just bring a light cardigan for train rides and flights and i know i definitely want to shop some local korean brands while i'm there so i'm not going to bring too much i'm only going to bring the basics that i know i will need and that i can use for layering <laughs> this is a lot of clothes so let's try to pack it into our packing cube
also packed all of my underwears into this tiny bag. As you can see, it's still so much space, so I'm just gonna. And we, of course, can't forget about our makeup pouch that we just packed earlier. My comb. And this is everything. For my backpack, I'm going to be using my new milk bag bag. This is actually a brand new bag that we just got from Japan. It's actually my boyfriend's, but I decided to steal it for this trip because this little baby has so much different compartments there's even a separate compartment in the bottom right here for you to put a pair of shoes so if i do end up buying shoes in korea i can just fit it in here there's just so much different little compartments inside that it's quite hard to see because it's black but it's just overall a really functional backpack so i will be using this giant baby right here and there we have it after packing both my carry-on and my trusty little backpack it has all of my technology and all of the miscellaneous items in here including all the chargers i will be bringing this onto the plane with me this little baby right here will be shoved into my oversized luggage so that I can check it in on the plane and not worry about this. This way I'll have a empty suitcase with me so that I can just fill it up with all of the goodies from Korea. And I can't wait to take you guys along with us. If you like this video and you want to see more Korea content, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in Korea. Bye!